Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is May the 14th, 2022. We're gonna talk about XRP today. Yeah, we're gonna give you all the price prediction into the market for XRP and see what is the chances of us actually seeing this coin going down to 25 cents. So before I get started, welcome to the channel. Everyone who is new, hit the like button. Should have been also subscribed to the channel. I'm here to provide price predictions to everyone who is interested into knowing where I am seeing price go before price moves so that way we can be able to profit from it. I mean, you guys can see it already in front of you from my last price prediction XRP. I was looking for the price to go down. And you guys can tell that is exactly what the market has done for XRP. So now the question is, what about 25 cents? Can we see the market move to 25 cents? Because I'm thinking that people felt that XRP would not come down to 50 cents or even 40 cents and look at where we are today. So I'm gonna talk about it. So congratulations to those who predicted the same thing that I did back on April the 26th. Congratulations, 23.77% was created, was had out the market on May the 9th. If you were to get out the space now in XRP, 40%. All right, cool, done, over. Let's talk about the market now because I told you on the last video that one of these lines was gonna break. You know, I was telling you, I was trying to get you all prepared that one of these lines was gonna break and I went with the downside line that it was gonna break and it did. So what we can actually tell now is that we're in a downtrend and this market has not changed yet. This market is still in a downtrend in XRP. So we can actually get rid of that ascending line. And we're just gonna simply continue to extend down the line because this is where the market is having issues. Every time XRP comes up to this particular descending line, it gets rejected and price comes right back down. So as we continue to go forward into 2022, we're gonna keep our eyes open on Whenever XRP moves back up to the upside, we already know where the issues is going to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the market on a different time frame first, because we need to try to see anywhere here in the background of this chart, where could the buyers be? And this is very, very crowded. I say that because look at all this business transactions, all of the trades that occurred into the market in XRP. So it could literally be anywhere that we can find buyers. So I wanted to really clear up the chart and try to gauge where are the buyers at. So let's try to do this here and try to figure it out because I really don't see too much. I mean, the market here in XRP during this particular time frame wasn't really doing nothing. It was just trading sideways. I mean, we were bouncing between what, 15 cents, 20 cents, all the way up there to around 50. And that was about it. That was about the range that this market in XRP was moving. So I'm not really looking for too much now, okay? So outside of us holding support right now in XRP, around 40 cents, um, what about 35? We can see the market in XRP hit 35 cents, then the next level will be around 30. So let me go ahead and draw it on the chart because I want to show you all that prior to XRP breaking above 35 cents, this market was actually utilized in this area back in 2019 as an area of restriction. The market in XRP could not break below or trade above 35 cents, excuse me, 35 cents. It couldn't do it. So as we continue to see the market trade around 40 cents, that's going to be the next level for us to try to see the buyers around 35 cents. Now, if they're not at 35 cents, then we need to be prepared to see them come down here towards 30. OK, so let me go ahead and show you all this. So the eyes, the eyes that I'm focusing on to find buyers is first around 35 cents. A bigger area of support could be around 30. Okay, right there around 30 cents. And then the third area, like I told you in the video, as the title reads, it's going to be 25. So already I know that these are going to be my three price targets, 35, 30, 25. Okay. So let's go ahead and get closer to where the market is trading at right now in XRP. And you guys can tell that we literally fell off a cliff. Like that looks terrible. To anyone who is bullish into the market in XRP, you do not want to see these type of five day price bars. They're, that lets you know that from 40 cents all the way up there to around 70 cents, there's no buyers. The market couldn't find buyers. That's why price is continuing to show weakness and continue to trend lower. Here we are on the weekly time frame. Like take a look at this on the weekly. The volume as well as increasing. One thing that I push you on this channel is paying attention to the volume. The volume literally tells us how active the market has been over the last week in this particular situation. And they've been real busy. Like somebody's really been buying or someone really sold all of their XRP into the market, either or. So we need to start paying attention 
to see the buyers are trying to come through the market in XRP now. Because if so, then we can plan on seeing the market increase and begin this higher movement higher. Okay, but look at this. Okay, not only is price not able to break that descending line you guys see right in front of you, it will also have issues here now. Okay, the market in XRP is going to have issues breaking above this particular level, which is around 57 or, you know, 56 cents. So not only will the buyers have problems breaking that descending line, they're going to have issues trying to break price above 57, 56 cents. So even if we were to see the market in exceedingly go up, keep those price levels in mind. OK, this is XRP on the three weeks. Do you see any bullishness here on the three weeks? What about on the five uh, five weekly time frame? Like we got eight more days and nine hours left and this market is not bullish at all. So if anything, the expectation will be for us to continue to see some decline, some decrease in the value in XRP. But again, at some point, we're going to hit a rock bottom. At some point, the bottom is going to be created. And I'm trying to establish that already on this video. We got 35 cents, 30 cents and 25 cents for us to look at. Now, I didn't include this one because this is going to hurt everybody in the market. If we see XRP come down to like 17 or 20 cents. Now, it's not like it's not probable that we can't see it happen because we already seen it happen back in 2017 to where XRP was trading around 17 cents. That's been the bottom. Now, the market may actually come all the way back down in the next eight days. I mean, when you look at this spread of this five weekly price bar right here, that kind of lets us know that, yeah, we can actually see XRP come down to 17 cents. But I'm not going to put that on this price prediction today, though. OK. Just want to put that out there, though. So you all won't be questioning and, and surprised as to why the market in XRP is trading around 17 cents. So I think we got a little bit lower to go. OK. I do suspect that the price in the long term in XRP is going to continue to fall a little bit lower. So let me go ahead and drop this on the chart. Now, I'm here to tell you already that we've already seen the market fall off the cliff in XRP. So I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually see some buyers come into the market, stave a comeback and try to lift this price up higher. OK, I'm not surprised. I won't be surprised if I see that. But when I look at this chart from these longer term perspective, the weakness is still apparent and I want us to be prepared for that. OK, so let's go ahead and draw on this price prediction in the market in XRP. Still suspecting that this market generally is weak. I definitely see uh, right here around 60 cents as restriction. But let me bring it down a little bit closer towards 52 cents. OK, now you guys remember my three price targets, right? I told you the first one was 35 cents. So if the market buyer is coming at 35 cents. I'm cutting the play. I'm taking that 12.9 percent and I'm running. I'm taking the profitability and I'm moving on to the next opportunity. 35 cents is my first price target. My second one is 30. That gives us 25 percent. OK. My third price target is 25, which gives us 37.84 percent profitability into the market for XRP. OK, so let's go ahead and run that. You guys can see what my expectations are here in this space for XRP, where I'm looking for the market to go. And I'm done. All we need to do now is just simply come back every once in a while, see how the market has been trading. If it's still going in our favor, we continue to ride with the price prediction. If it's not, we'll cut it. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and drop me your price prediction, your price target into the market for XRP. Make sure you maintain profitability. And as always, trade different.